A1, A2, A3 are three distinct numbers in geometric progression. The given equations have a common root. Now, since I know A1, A2, A3 are geometric progression, let me consider certain numeric values. Let's say A1 is equal to 1, A2 is equal to 2, A3 is equal to 4. 1, 2, 4 are in a G. Substituting the values in the first equation. x square plus 2 into 2x plus 4 equal to 0 or x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. x plus 2 whole square is equal to 0, which gives the value of x as minus 2. Now, since the first equation has only one root and both the equations have a common root, x equal to minus 2 must definitely be a root of the second equation as well. So let me substitute x equal to minus 2 in the second equation. So I can write this as 4b1 plus b3 is equal to 4b2. Now, when I look at b1, b2, b3, as it is, they are neither in arithmetic progression nor in geometric progression. So clearly I can eliminate option A and D. Now the remaining two options talk about how B1 by A1, B2 by A2 and B3 by A3 are. So let me try to find a relation between B1 by A1, B2 by A2 and B3 by A2. So I will divide this entire expression by 4. So I get B1 plus B3 by 4 is equal to B2. Now, B1 by 1, so 1 corresponds to A1. B3 by 4, 4 corresponds to A3. So if I can somehow write A2 below B2, I'll be able to bring in a relation. Now, A2 is 2. So to have 2 in the denominator, I will put a 2 in the numerator as well to compensate for that. Now, if I replace 1, 4, and 2 with a1, a3, and a2, then the expression becomes b1 by a1 plus b3 by a3 is equal to 2 into b2 by a2, which is an expression to prove the fact that b1 by a1, b2 by a2, b3 by a3 are in arithmetic progression. Hence, answer option C. Once you understand this question, we want you to try this replica question and post your answers in the comment section below.